So how you doing guys? In the last video, I did uh, teach you how can you extract data and put it into your Google Sheets very quickly. But that video's quality is terrible and so I created this new video. But if you want to see the last video, uh, there's a link in the description but highly not recommended. Since in the last example, I used I already entered the data into the Google Sheets, so I'm not going to repeat that. That's why I'm searching for new website for new information and price. Let's go for tech hypermarkets. And I'm looking for PC part, not computer. Computer is mostly a preview that they already have been built. I'm looking for custom one. And as the same, we are looking for processor. And this looks um, amazing. This all our processor, we have AMD and Intel's. I show all of it. Uh, maybe we sort by name. So we get the AMD first. So let's see what type of uh, data that we have that we are dealing with. The format. What is the format that we have? So I'm going to paste as this value and we get some kind of the same format as like last time. We have this, the item name and then the price as shown here. And this one repeat for twice. The first one I assume would be this image here that are uh, yes could be the image they call it uh, the image tag so since it's the same uh, there's actually not much uh, things to change here but since this is your first time if you haven't seen the last video this would be your first time looking at this and don't understand how come I paste the value here I paste the data here and then everything is displayed on the B column E and then somehow this thing appear right here and then I could just copy this thing and paste it in my uh, the data sheets the main purpose of uh, this video is to show you how I extract the data from the website manually all right sometimes people can use the app script they, they use the programming to extract information from other websites but I'm doing this manually it's considered manual uh, work so what i need is to extract the price information i have the name and then the price all right let's talk about this function first i have this array formula array constraints type of things but that's not important what's important is this rigid extract and the rigid match so what rigid match looking for is the rm which is the currency uh, prefix for malaysia ringgit Right. In layman term, we said, all right. So if I saw the RM, then I would extract the value that uh, that have the dot in it. This function here does not guarantee that it would 100% extract the correct price information. It would extract other things as well because I don't put in more conditions to double checks. But this is just like a bare bones things that kind of work. Uh, for this type of format, there is not much concern for this type of format. But when you are dealing with, uh, let's say, when the price is also included in, it also included in the same uh, cell like this one, then you will get something like this. So you you get a weird stuff here, right? So so it see it saw that all right, this cell contain RM, and then the first thing that it see is the tree. That's why it extract the value tree out for this format. The price is placed at the back. So to make sure that I extract the right information, I will add additional conditions like slash jack to, to tell that the price is placed at the back. So it will extract the right information right like this. But since this is not the case, I wouldn't it's not necessary to have that. So I will just place it um, like this. It's good enough. Alright, so the next thing after I extract the price, I want to make sure that uh, there is only one name for one price. You check if the E is blank. If it is blank, you just leave it as blank, like uh, like this row. But if it's not, then it will take the name from the A column and then place it here. And after I've done this, and uh, I don't want to have any spacing in between, so what I did is I used the uh, text join split trend post functions, the combo, to, to create this result here. So let me show you how, how things kind of work. Let's begin with just the text join. So what text join did is that it take the text from B1 to B and it uh, 
join them with char 10, which means enter on a new line to go to a new line. So let me show you the result of text join. So the text join is just, yeah, take the text here in the B column, add them together and enter a new line for every new cell. So this is what it happens. And after I have text join them, I split them by char 10 again. So that I get, uh, oh, since, since I don't have space, it cannot be shown. So, uh, never mind, I will just do this to show you what is the result. So it's split horizontally toward the right side. And since I don't want it to go to the right side, I want it to go vertically. From horizontal to vertical, we're going to use the function called transpose. So transpose is going to uh, transpose the row to column. All right. So use the transpose function and you get this. And I'm going to do this for the price as well. So just since my B, the B1B is not an absolute reference, it is a relative reference. So I can just copy and paste it and make sure that there are two spacing here similar to this so that when you copy, it's much easier. You don't need to do uh, changes to the formulas. All right, so this is how it works. Let me show you the whole process of this. So I will click, for me, usually I would click the first uh, in front and then I will scroll all the way down to the last information and then copy this part and paste it at where I need to paste. I will paste it as just a value so that and then my formula will take over and create this list of uh, data for me and then I can just copy this and paste it in my part comparison here. I, I am using array formula, that's why you can see that this uh, F column is filling up by itself. This is the benefits of the array formulas. So there you go. And one thing that I didn't mention, uh, that I did mention in the last video is the BC column. Right, so since because there are two columns spacing right over here, so in my uh, result here, I also space it by two columns. So when I copy and paste, uh, the, the, the column spacing is, is correct. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something useful from this video. Like and subscribe if you want. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video to show you more tips and tricks that you can use in your Google Sheets. Okay, now I just noticed that some parts are 1 ringgit and the problem is that instead of just dot they have a comma so let's add a comma here and the problem is fixed.